Somebody who is a trailblazer is not content with the status quo. They are willing to shake things up, they're willing to use their influence, and frankly, they're willing to make people just feel a little uncomfortable so we can make changes for everybody in our community. It doesn't matter which cultural group they come from, they're all human beings who are searching for homes. And in this past year, together with community, we ensured 2,000 Calgarians found their way home. These conditions do not recognize privilege. They do not recognize a socioeconomic status. These conditions exist through all cross sections of society. What is it about your work or whatever it is that gives you hope? Uh, equal parts, the resolve of young people. It always gives me a great deal of hope, uh, their courage, mm -hmm. their resiliency and the beauty of this morning, that, that we're gathered here bearing witness to these stories. And we're leaning in towards ending youth homelessness, which is entirely possible. I can't imagine a larger barrier than not knowing whether or not you have a safe and secure place to sleep tonight. We love that big picture vision that they have and we love that they don't take a Band-Aid approach, um, but they focus on things like integration and collaboration. We've been hearing about that. Mm -hmm. Building capacity and really to tackling the underlying issues that lead to homelessness in the first place. Do you want to go golfing every day or do you want to convert a lot of that capability into helping the community? And I chose the latter. Uh, they are aimlessly looking uh, for someone to listen to them, someone to hear them, someone to assist them. And so they join the ranks uh, of the homeless. And what I saw in the eyes of that little seven-ish year old boy in the midst of that war and genocide was exactly what I saw in this, the eyes of my son in Quebec City when I left for Africa. They were the eyes of a human child. It's an absolute that no matter what happens in the day or what you're suffering, that love is still stronger and still deeper and still a reference point. Are we deciding who deserves to have a home and the supports they need, or are we deciding who doesn't? So that was incredibly profound and I thank you for that.